Judy Austin takes Yola Deche to River Goddess after some RIP and DNA results. Hello, people. Welcome back again to my channel. You know, uh, there's nothing absolutely just Judy Austin has not really done to Yola Edoche. I know the more people uh, are actually trying to advise Yola Deche, the more she is trying to convince Yola Deche to be on her side. I must tell you for the fact, even when the points are, are glaring obvious that uh, that this particular marriage or so-called union is not meant to be, I've often said it here countless times that whatever that is built on a very wrong foundation will definitely spoil. And you know, the thing is acting as if he doesn't have uh, a, a will of his own or a decision of his own to make decisions for himself. And he's acting as if he's under the influence of something. Imagine a man that his son just died. Just his first son being Kamdele who just died mysteriously. And nothing is being done about that. You know, a lot of people have even told him, why not call this Judy Austin and her cohorts and Saramathans and those people that have been attacking your wife, May Duche, why not just call them for them to come and prove their innocence? Of course, even if they are innocent, they should come and prove their innocence because they are the, they were at the four uh, uh, fronts fighting and attacking May Duche. There, there was absolutely nothing they didn't do against May Duche. They did everything against that innocent woman, you know, took away everything that woman built for like 18 to 19 years with her husband being Yola Deche. And it's absolutely disheartening. And this is what people told Yola Deche when this entire incident happened or started, that he should actually find the root of this particular problem. Or else only God knows what the enemy might actually be planting for you or planning for you. A lot of people told him, why not read the handwriting on the wall ever since you took up this so-called lady and ever since you started with this so-called polygamy of a thing, you know, everything has been moving negatively for you. It is not obvious that it is not meant to be. It is not obvious that God does not, uh, did not destine you to be together with this particular woman. I must tell you for the fact that Yelo Deche has adamantly refused to listen to what people have been telling him, despite all the evidence and the proof, even the DNA results and everything that has been flying on the internet space. Yelo Deche has refused to do anything about them. You know, it only proves that there is some, there is a lot of information that we don't know. There is a lot of secrets that Yolo Deche is having with this particular lady, being with us, that we don't know about. Because for all these things to happen to Yolo Deche until date, Yolo Deche has not taken any concrete decision to, you know, to, to right his wrongs. A man that lost his own, uh, first child because of this so-called polygamy, like I've often said, I blame the death of that particular boy on Yolo Deche's uh, so-called polygamy. He allowed the polygamy to distract him and to do other things to his family, to open the doors for enemies to enter into his family. I must tell you for the fact, because Adebi Yelo Deche remained together uh, with his wife, with his wife being made Deche, nothing of this nature could have actually happened to him. But polygamy, like I've said, breeds a lot of problems. Polygamy brings a lot of issues and upon issues and upon issues. You know, when Yolo Deche started in this is so-called polygamy, he went away from God's face and started seeking the face of some uh, headless gods that Jude Austin introduced him to. I must tell you for the fact. If you can recall, uh, as of last year, Yolo Deche started going to uh, visiting a particular river for a prophetess or goddess that uh, Jude Austin introduced him to, you know, as you can see on the screen, you can see the river prophetess and everything. You know, imagine you, you know, the abandoning uh, the church that that you know wedded him and probably brought him up and everything, and he started going to the river to seek for prayers. You don't know the amount of demon. You don't know the kind of uh, 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 evil that probably you 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 be getting from there. Of all places to seek for help, of all places to seek for prayers. Jude Austin took you to a river prophetess, in her own river prophetess. And you know, these things, are, they are something that you, you know, has failed to understand. When you are with your wife, May Deche, you people will always go to church and pray in the right way and, you know, seek for God's face and everything. But Jude Austin came and took you to a river prophetess, you know, took you away from the church you normally attend and took you to a river prophetess for you to go and get more powers and prayers. You know, and one sad thing about these places is that when you go to these places, you don't know the kind of power and the kind of blessings you are getting. You don't even know where these people are. source their powers or probably source their uh, 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 power or so-called blessings from.
probably you might think you are getting blessings without knowing that you are getting more causes and abomin and uh, uh, an evil upon yourself. And this is what God hates the most. You know, when you let the JV study this river prophetess, you know, a lot of people warned him that you are derailing. You are actually going against your faith. You are actually going against what you believe, all because of this so-called polygamy. That is why I often said here that this polygamy brought a lot of distraction to Jela Deji, and he never knew what he was doing because he was busy following Jude Austin here and there without knowing the kind of things that Jude Austin is exposing him to, without knowing the kind of doors that he's opening for his enemies to come into his family. I must tell you for the fact you know, when he visited the Three River Prophetess last year, he posted it on his social media account, you know, and started thanking the woman for praying for him and all that. You know, he went with other things like fowls and other gifts to give to this particular uh, river prophetess or goddess. And a lot of people are so shocked that the you know, has gone diabolical and fetish. Like I've often said, you don't even know the kind of uh, things you are getting from there. You don't know whether you are getting more cause or, or more evil upon your family and upon yourself. And this we are introduced to him by Jude Austin. This same Jude Austin has been the one promoting diabolical and fetish items for her friend, being uh, Sarah Martins. She has been promoting uh, fetish items like an attraction package, a uh, uh, spend on me package, and uh, uh, a lot do, do as I say package and all that. Fetish items and diabolical things. This is what uh, Jude Austin has been promoting for her friend and advertising for her friend on her own uh, social media account. And this goes a long way to tell you that if this lady could actually be promoting this, if this lady could actually be proud to promote such fetish things, means probably she has used those things. And this was the same lady that took here the day to this river prophetess. Now, ever since this so-called things happen, everything, look at here the day has his life been better. Instead of him to go and get blessings, he's getting more cause and probably more troubles for, him, for, for his family. And look at the death of his only uh, his first son being Kambelichuku. And DNA results are out now. You know, sometimes some men use their hands to spoil and to destroy what God actually uh, you know uh, built for them. Well, I believe that Yellow know, Dichis should, you know, uh, awaken the spirit and go for uh, and go to the right right places to cleanse and to ask for help. If he keeps on following this Jude Austin to place, imagine the Jude Austin introducing you. To where she gets her own powers from. Of course, she wouldn't want anybody to come and take you away, and probably she wouldn't want the person to say the truth. You cannot seek the, for the, the truth by going to your enemies. It doesn't work that way. No, I'll keep on updating you guys about this incident. I would like you to drop your comments in the